And this is solving triangles, part three. This one's a little bit different. The previous two examples, you had an angle and it's actually really easy to find. You had the right angle, you had an angle, and to find the third angle was pretty simple. This one, I have two sides and I have no angles. So, you know what? I was gonna say, we could use a trig function, but no, we can't. We can't touch the trig functions because I don't have an angle to work with. I want to have only two sides. That means we get to bring back our friend Pythagoras. So find hypotenuse. Oops, I guess I could have labeled that first. Let's go over here. And because we have no angle in there, I can't even label opposite and adjacent. Not at this point. All I know is when I'm doing Pythagorans, I need a side and I need another side. So, I put me squared, side squared plus. If you are not familiar with Pythagorean's theorem, then go back to and find my videos on Pythagorean's theorem. Unlike this one, it's a set of like five or six videos. Pretty straightforward. All right, so we don't know our hypotenuse. And we got 2.8 squared plus 1.5. Remember, you can put the 1.5 and then the 2.8, it doesn't matter. Hypotenuse squared is equal to, all right, 2.8. Now, I can go times 2.8, 7.5. Or I can go 2.8 and I can use my squared button. I don't know if you guys can see that. Either one is going to give me 7.84. 1.5 squared 2.25. So hypotenuse squared is equal to 2.25 plus 7.84, right? Or it doesn't matter when you're adding. So I can just use my previous answer. It's already there. 10.09. Now, remember this is hypotenuse squared because that can't, this side's like 2.8 meters and this is 1.5. That can't be 10. That's, you got to remember, calculate. Take the square root of both sides. So on mine, it's second function. Okay, so hypotenuse is equal to 3.176 for hypotenuse. Let's see, these guys are using one decimal place, so I'm going to do the same. 3.2 meters. All right, so that is my third side. Now, Paranoid mathematician here. When I go to do these ones, I don't want to use the hypotenuse. Oops, sorry, my paper's all messed up. I don't want to use hypotenuse because for one thing, we rounded. And I don't want to keep that error with me. So let's say we're going to find angle R. So this is the one I want. So now I'm finding an angle so I can use my trig functions. So I go down my hypotenuse around R, which makes this adjacent, and this is the opposite. But I don't want to use my hypotenuse. I have my adjacent and I have my opposite. That's going to be tangent. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent and theta, let's see, opposite is 1.5 meters over adjacent, which is 2.8 meters. So, tan theta. Oh, um, you didn't necessarily need the M's in there. That was just half it. it won't hurt you. 0.5, divided by 2.8, because you know what? They would just disappear when you divide it out, they would cancel. 0 0.5357. Sorry, 
make that out of the way. And then, but that's not my angle, because first of all, it says tan of theta is that, so that's the ratio. To get the angle, I need to go second tangent, and on my calculator, I can just hit equals, and it just puts the answer from the previous one in it, so I didn't have to retype that. So theta is equal to 28.17. Eight or theta is equal to 28 degrees, but we were doing angle R. Okay, now I'm going to be really paranoid because I could, you guys know this. All the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if I know a square corner and I know one angle, I can always find a second one just by subtracting from 180. But I want to practice and I want to show you how this works. So I'm going to use a trig function again to find angle S. So check out what happens though. Let me use my smashing green pen here. If I want to use that angle, I'm going to go on my hypotenuse. I'm going to go around, and this now becomes the adjacent, and this side becomes opposite. So for S, I'm going to circle that in green. Remember, you know that from before. Remember, with adjacent and opposite, they flip if you change the angle. So tan theta. Should I put S or put theta? What do you guys think? Well, I don't know. Have it tan theta opposite all the adjacent. Tan theta. You know what? It's looking confusing. Let's make that S. Opposite side now. Check what happened. The opposite side, I'm looking at green, is now 2.8 over 1.5, right? It's almost what we had over here, but it flipped because I'm talking about the other angle. And my number is going to be different when I do that division. 2.8, oops, move it up in the light so you can see. 2.8 divided by 1.5. Six. Okay, you guys are cool with that? I just put that repeating bar on there. Uh, and you could put eight, six, six, seven if you wanted. So angle S, and I'm going to do that second tangent. And like I said on my calculator, I don't have to retype it. Boom. 61.82. Or angle S is equal to 63. Whoopsies. 62 degrees. Let's check to see if our answer is right before we fill this in. All right, so we said that this one, angle R is 28 degrees. And this one is 62 degrees. Oh, I can make it green. Use the green one. All right, how much do the angles in a triangle add up to? Of course, 180 degrees. Well, let's check. We're going to do it. We'll do it here. So we got the 90 degrees there, plus the 28 degrees from there, plus the 62 degrees here. I'm pretty sure that's going to work out, but let's check. 90 plus, plus 62. Woo! 180 degrees. See, that's the point of doing it using the tan function twice. If I made a mistake here or here when I added this up, I would catch that mistake. If I just subtract once I've done this one, I won't see if there's a mistake. So if I had this wrong and I just subtract it to get my answer. This part will be wrong. Don't worry about it. So let's figure out. We got angle R was 28 degrees. 
angle F was 62 degrees. Put the degree sign in, it doesn't hurt you. Angle T was a freebie, that was 90 degrees. And now let's see what we can do with R, S, and T. So if I go T, I go across, that's going to be little t. S going across to the opposite side. That's going to be, I'll make the left look like that. And then this one must be a little r. So little r is 1.5 meters. Not very exciting, kind of just copying that off. Little s is 2.8 meters. And t, which is the one we actually had to calculate, was 3.2 meters. Oh, forgot to do it. Um, let me put the 3.2 there. Remember, you should always check opposites. Um, biggest angle, opposite biggest side. So if I highlight my sides, 3.2 is the biggest side. It's across from the biggest angle. And 1.5 is the smallest side. And it is across from 28 degrees, which is my smallest side. So checking lines, that's all I can do. And ta-da, there we go. One more practice. So solving triangles, part four in the next section. You get this, you've got trig figured out these primary trig functions.